Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Here's a sneak peek of what we're going to be making today. We're going to be trying out some more um, swipes with resin and using the Color Passion Cell Base White. So let's jump in and get started. This is an 11 by 14 canvas that I had poured on previously. And here's my Color Passion Cell Base White from Laura's Art Corner. I have six ounces of my Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy in this cup here. And I'm just going in and giving that cell base white a good stir. And I wanted to show you how much I'm adding to six ounces of clear resin. I went in and added about four little scoops on the end of my craft stick. And this stuff is very liquidy. So um, I found that this is a good amount and you'll get a nice opaque white. And make sure you mix it in thoroughly. Make sure it's 100% mixed up. And I'm going to show you, we're going to pour it on this piece here. And it's going to completely 100% cover it, which is awesome. You don't have to uh, spray paint your base or anything like that. Because sometimes with white pigments, it can be not 100% opaque. And then, you know, what's underneath will show through the white. But not with this stuff. It's 100% nice and opaque. So I'm just going in with my gloved hand, smoothing everything out, making sure that everything is 100% covered, the sides, the corners, the top of the canvas. I did tape this canvas on the back and I have my table covered with wax paper and I have this canvas raised up off my table on four little cups. I made sure it was level. Now I'm going in with my heat gun on high to pop bubbles and just warm up that resin. And these are the colors I'm going to be using today. Aqua Gold by Lores, Fluorescent Pink and Fluorescent Purple from Laura's Art Corner, and Baby's Breath. And I actually added some of the Baby's Breath to the Fluorescent Pink and Purple to make them metallic or kind of pearlescent instead of a matte pigment. Because the, fl the fluorescents are matte, but you can 100% take a sparkly white pigment and add that to your matte pigments and it'll make it nice and pearly and sparkly. The Baby's Breath is a really nice pearly white from Laura's Art Corner. I'll link all these products down below in the description box along with my coupon code. And I just went in and did a diagonal line of my pigments. I added the aqua gold, the purple, then the pink. And now I'm just taking little sheets of wax paper and swiping my pigments. This is super simple and easy. Right here, I actually dipped some of um, the pink. I just kind of added some pink on the end of my wax paper and swiped it like that. You can 100% do that if you wanted to add a little bit more color to a spot on the canvas. Now we're going to go in and do the other side. I'm adding some more aqua gold, some more purple, and some more of the fluorescent pink. And you can already see on the top half that I swiped that I was getting some nice cells starting to develop. The cell base white is awesome for cells. I didn't even add any heat at that point, but here I am going in with my heat gun on high just to kind of warm up the resin so it swipes a little bit easier. This bottom section that I'm swiping, um, I was able to swipe it a lot easier than the top half. So just go in with your wax paper. You can, you know, kind of make whatever size you want and just swipe those pigments over the white and you'll get the awesome lacing and cells. Um, this product reminds me a lot of the Stone Coat base tints. If you guys have been doing resin for a long time, you might remember those. Um, they've been discontinued, but the cell base white works really well, just like those Stone Coat base tints. Um, and you want to make sure you swipe your pigments over the white. So you need to put a base layer down of that white and then swipe your pigments over the base white. So here's how it's looking. I had some really awesome cells and lacing. We're going to go in and do a few little swirls. This is just like a little toothpick that I had. Just going in and doing some fun swirly designs and... I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm using Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. It works really good for this. Um, all the cells and lacing stayed put. It didn't move around, which is nice. If you're using a resin that has a longer working time, um, your lacing might move around a little bit. 
but the working time with Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy is about 30 minutes. So it works perfectly with this cell base white because um, it sets up pretty quick. So it's not going to move around too much as the piece is self-leveling and drying. I'm just about done doing my little swirls here. And then I'll bring it in for a close-up and show you how it turned out. You could take your little toothpick and let's say you wanted to add some more blue to a certain spot. Dip your toothpick in the blue and then go in and do your swirl and you can add a little bit more color that way when you're doing your swirly designs. Just love these colors together. I think it's so pretty. Um, I'm still kind of experimenting with the cell base white, but so far I love using it. This was just kind of a test piece to see how it would turn out um, on a bigger size because I did do some 4x4 tiles last week. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. I'll link it down below. And here it is, all nice and dry. Turned out perfect. There's some fun little hidden hearts in this one too. Uh, I am going to be doing some more experiments with this cell base white, so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss those videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. I'll leave a few of my favorites right here at the end card screen. Just click the picture, and it'll take you straight to the video, and you can go check it out. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And as always, I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye, guys.